welcome to another lecture of earthquake engineering lecture 3 free vibration analysis and examples free vibration analysis in the free vibration analysis if a structure is displaced by a considerable amount and is then released suddenly it starts vibration without action of any external force except the first excitation you push the model okay the mass and then left the model start vibrating okay the study of response of a structure when it is vibrating without any external force is called free vibration analysis of structure okay here is also the curve diagram okay on the horizontal time on the vertical is amplitude here is at the first excitation you get the maximum amplitude okay when you applied the force that is called excitation when you first excite, uh, did the excitation of the model maximum amplitude then start slowly after some vibration is stops okay that is the natural phenomena of almost every structure this analysis gives information about natural time period frequency resonance and damping okay now i will discuss the free vibration analysis derivation for the uh, for getting the results of natural time period frequency and damping etc before starting the der derivation it is uh, some terminologies like there is lumped mass what is lumped mass here is a simple one story building one column second column these are spots these are story slab mass m okay here is a force applied uh, the force with the uh, within applied uh, there is a time why that is time because this is dynamic force and dynamic force are dependent on time okay it is mass and uh, due to uh, apply, uh, application of force or excitation the model is moving horizontal that is the dis displacement u okay during an earthquake the earth only produces acceleration in the structure uh, uh, the first thing that should be clear is that when an earthquake originates in any soil or an, a, a, any part of earth then the the main component that transfers through the soil that is waves waves are contain energy in the form of acceleration when this acceleration hit to the structure then this energy transfer to the structure for example this uh, energy uh, or uh, waves are in the form of acceleration when they hit the uh, mass or any body they become the inertial force means f is equal to ma newton's basic law the force is produced when the mass of structure undergoes acceleration which is called inertial force okay when the structure hit with a force then the force uh, uh, then the structure goes undergoes acceleration which is called inertial force okay f is equal to m a m is the mass of the structure a is the acceleration of the earthquake that is hitting to the structure okay what is the lump mass in case of building most of the mass is concentrated at the floor level main, main part of the building which is heavier that is the slab part okay or the beam part or all the most of the mass is concentrated at the story level okay hence for the convenience in analysis it is assumed that whole of the mass is present at a particular height at a point known as lumped mass here now this uh, first story model, model is simplified into this form okay the whole mass is taken as a one point is shown m so that approach is called lumped mass hence for convenience in analysis it is assumed that the whole of the mass is present at the particular height at a point is called mass okay the ft force is same deformation is same mass of the uh, of the story is here m and what is k k is the rigidity or stiffness of columns okay columns are stiff elements they try to restrict the movement of the story to the right side okay so the stiffness or rigidity of column is shown with k the next important terminology is degree of freedom what is degree of freedom 
the number of displacement components that must be considered in order to represent the effects of all significant inertial forces of a structure are terms as the number of dynamics uh, degree of freedom so here for example this is a 3d element okay column is a 3d element and it is uh, supported with the ground now this uh, for example this corner of this uh, or top of this column this can move in the x direction this can move in the y direction this can move in the z direction similarly there is there can be three root, uh, def, uh, rotations okay uh, rotation in x rotation in y rotation in z you can say in theta x theta y theta z simply i want to say that the every point in the 3d element can have six type of deformations six uh, three are displacement three are rotational deformations okay any point 3d element any point or frame element have six degree of freedom of six possible number of deformations uh, first deformation displacement in x displacement in y displacement in z similarly three rotation rotation in x rotation in y rotation in z okay so these all number of possible deformations in any direction is called degree of freedom okay but for the analysis of free vibration we consider only one degree of freedom that is horizontal means x direction okay most com commonly only one degree of freedom that is horizontal of the mass is considered for each lumped mass okay for the lumped mass only one degree of freedom will be considered for the free vibration analysis for example here the lumped mass with three degree of freedom here is a three story model is simplified into the lumped mass first story second story third story okay so only three degree of freedom one two three another example three different ways of representing the models for the dynamic analysis here is a story okay that is i i have already discussed first story building with mass with deformation in the x direction when force is applied here is a simplified uh, in the lumped mass approach the mass is shown here the column rigidity with k or stiffness uh, ft is the excitation force or the force applied u will be the deformation in the x direction in this figure ft is the dynamic force okay which will uh, act horizontally and k is the stiffness of each story okay column stiffness of this column stiffness of this combining is equal to k m is the story mass or lump mass or u and u is the horizontal displacement okay now there are three ways first way second way and third way is this we can also represent uh, our story models into trolley model this this model is called trolley model here mass m and here is a stiffness k for example here if i try to apply the force then this k will restrict uh, restrict mean uh, do not uh, uh, restrict mean uh, it try to resist that do not move in the x direction this k stiffness or rigidity similarly here in the trolley model here is a m here is a frictional fr uh, frictionless object uh, roller sports okay uh, k is the rigidity when i apply the force in the x direction then this k will try to resist do not allow to move in the x direction this uh, uh, story model can be represented into this form and this form both are allowed now two story uh, building uh, okay multiple degree of freedom story one uh, mass one mass two excitation force or dynamic force f1 f2 displacement in the x direction u1 u2 in the simplified or lumped mass approach okay uh, this story stiffness this column and this column is equal to k1 this column and this column stiffness is k2 okay same deformations forces now the same model in the trolley model okay m1 k1 m2 k2 we can also represent into the trolley model for the analysis of uh, for the free vibration analysis these are basic terminologies which we have to keep in mind before starting the analysis uh, these are uh, basic uh, equations the following notation is used 
to represent displacement velocity and acceleration for example if the displacement or uh, in the x direction is uh, shown with u the derivation with respect to time is called velocity and will be denoted as u dot okay if we take another derivative with respect to t then this velocity will become acceleration and it will be shown with u double di double dot next is the inertial force uh, this force tries to retain the original shape or direction of motion of the structure this force always acts away from the main position of the oscillation for example let me show for example this is a mass and this is the second is a stiffness there are two uh, properties mainly which are resisting that for example any mass any mass if we try to uh, apply the force and try to move in the x direction this mass will try to resist or it means when we try to apply the force the inertial uh, force will restrict the model to move in the x direction second resistance is k okay uh, i will discuss about k later first uh, the inertial force okay this inertial force mean mass of this structure will try to resist uh, the horizontal movement second is the elastic restoring force which i will discuss about the k this is the resisting force that try to restrict, restrict the deformation or try to re uh, regain the original shape for example if any spring you pull then it will try to go back okay this is the elastic restoring force that is present in the columns for a particular deflected shape this act as a potential energy which tries to come back its original position it acts as spring constant in the dynamic model the direction of this force is always directed towards the mean position of the os oscillation means this force tries to bring tries to bring the mass to the original position or the central position fe is equal to ku okay this is a simple elastic restoring force uh, of the, the spring okay fe uh, it is denoted with elastic restoring force is equal to ku u is the horizontal deformation k is the where k is the stiffness of all columns of the story okay that will act as a spring damping damping is the uh, damping is the natural property uh, for example uh, for example if our, our buildings bricks columns steel concrete each material has its its own damping damping property okay for example uh, the bricks have a damping property uh, 2% and the uh, concrete has 5% steel has 8% so whatsoever so we uh, take composite for example the in concrete building we take 5% as a damping uh, its natural property damping is the process by which free vibration steadily diminishes okay uh, if for example uh, you can observe in the bikes in the motor cars okay in the motor motor bikes motor cars okay when there is a jerk then there are damper or uh, hydraulic shock absorber are present they are damping so they uh, they do what they just diminish the free vibration okay or vanish damping is the process by which free vibration steadily dimin diminish this is due to release of energy from the structure usually in the form of heat okay so this energy dissipate in the form of heat damping is produced by uh, in the structures damping is produced by opening and closing of micro cracks for example if column is moving in the one direction then the crack produce on the other side and when the column will come into other position the other side cracks will appear and one side crack will close another side crack will open this uh, damping is produced by opening and closing of micro cracks friction between different components and deformation within the inelastic range for example you have already observed in the steel there is uh, in the inelastic range there is so much changes in the material okay so due to the change in material so that phenomena is also uh, comes in under the damping now damping force 
okay they definitely the damping play, play its own role uh, in controlling the uh, uh, in in resisting the excitation force or the externally applied force the value of this force is equal to the product of damping constant and the velocity the damping constant represent the frictional characteristics and energy losses of the structure fd is equal to c u dash where c is the damping constant u dash is the velocity of the structure c is the damping constant represent the frictional characteristics and energy losses of the structure or type of the material excitation force excitation force is the external dynamic force acting on the system as a function of time and it is denoted as ft okay the external applied dynamic force okay it can, uh, can be time is to record or equivalent static or any type of externally applied force okay that dependent on time that is excitation force single degree of freedom damped model okay here is a single degree of freedom model okay only one mass and one stiffness and how damping is shown in the model that's the way just like hydraulic shock absorber okay c a model to represent single degree of freedom structure has the following components a mass having inertial force okay a spring constant represent the structural stiffness or the elastic force elastic restoring force a damping cons element represent the frictional characteristics and energy losses of the structure and ft an external excitation force okay differential equation of motion here this is the basic equation of dynamics okay uh, if you start any type of derivation in the dynamics you have to start from this basic equation the differential equation of motion may be written for the equilibrium in horizontal direction for the general case as follows in this equation fi is the inertial force fd is the damping force fe is the elastic restoring force here in the model when you apply the uh, excitation force then the these three forces try to resist okay May inertial force tries to resist back restoring force uh, tries to bring back and damping force again tries to bring back the model into the original position okay so that's why ft and here is the inertial force mu ma mean acceleration u double u double dot c u dash c velocity k u c uh, constant uh, spring constant and displacement okay ft is the external excitation force for free vibration analysis the excitation force uh, that is first time applied then it is released then it means excitation force is removed and damping force are not considered and resulting differential equation becomes okay for the free vibration analysis we are ignoring the damping we are not considering the damping and second we, we are equating equal to zero because we have removed removed the excitation force now the new equation becomes mu double dot plus ku we have ignored a damping and we have removed the excitation force then dividing the equation with m m is cancelled from here comes here this is a second order differential equation of homogeneous type with constant coefficient why second order here you can see a double derivative a, a trial solution of this type of equation is here here is the trial solution u is equal to a cos omega t simple harmonic function with angular speed omega okay u dash we already know uh, derivative of displacement double derivative of displacement is acceleration so single derivative uh, derivative of cos that is sin uh, sin theta so that's why uh, minus uh, minus sin theta so a is constant that will comes as it is so minus sin omega t and derivative of internal omega t okay the t t will be cancelled out omega will comes out then again take derivative of this will become acceleration sin that derivative is cos and the internal derivative of omega t is will become omega so u double dash will be minus a omega square i will just put the values of u and u double dot in the in the uh, second order differential equation
put the values of u and u double dot in the differential equation to get this okay i have just put this value and this value u here okay now i am taking common a omega uh, a cos omega t okay rest is minus m omega square plus k okay the term cos omega t cannot be zero at all times okay so then remaining a uh, so also a will equal to zero represents a trivial solution okay so now we will equate this uh, equal to zero minus m omega square plus k uh, take this value to the other side and only omega square will remain take the under root then omega will become uh, equal omega will be equal to under root k over m equal to kg over w what is that because we know weight is equal to mg okay so uh, to get the value of w uh, we have to uh, uh, take the value of down from downside to the upper side if i again write w is equal to mg gg will be cancelled out cancelled out k over m will again become okay the units of mega is radian per second Hence, the expression for the time period and the frequency may be determined as follows. Total angle covered in one cycle is equal to 2 pi radian. Angular speed is omega that is radian per second. Time required for one uh, cycle to, com uh, to complete call time period t is equal to 2 pi over omega. Okay. Similarly, natural frequency of the system f is equal to omega over 2 pi. That is uh, t and f are inverse relation. Here, uh, I have just put the value of omega uh, that is under root k over m. Now that is under side, so its uh, value will be changed. M will become up and k will be down. Okay, because that uh, that omega is under side, and uh, we can also write the for the frequency. So uh, what is the relation? T is equal to one over f. So for writing the uh, same expression for frequency, only one over two pi okay k over m will become okay all the terminologies will be reversed now example 10.3 for free vibration of mass 8000 kg having a stiffness factor spring constant k of 2000 kilonewton per meter calculate the time period and natural frequency before doing the example please remember that t time period will come in seconds m oscillating body mass in kg k spring constant must be in newton per meter okay so here you can see new that is kilo newton per meter you have to multiply with thousand okay mass is already in kg so mass is uh, 8000 kg k is 2000 kilo newton converted into 2000 to 10 raise to the power 3 newton per meter angular frequency will become k over m 2000 multiplied by 10 to the power 3 divided by 8000 the, the value is 15.81 radian per second now for time period 2 pi over omega you can write the full equation or you can write by uh, step by step 2 pi over 15.81 the time period is 0 0.397 second the frequency will be 1 over t that is 2.52 cycles per second spring constant or stiffness coefficient for columns in the previous 10.3 uh, example the k value is already given in the example but if you want to calculate by yourself then uh, depending upon the column condition you can calculate by yourself here you can see a a rotation of mass allow means mass is allowed to move in the horizontal direction when you apply the force the mass will move in the x direction you want to calculate uh, the stiffness k will be 3 ei over l q okay uh, if rotation of mass not allowed okay then k will be equal to 12 ei over l q ei e is modulus of elasticity i is the moment of inertia of that section similarly rotation of mass allowed but with a hinge condition here fixed condition here is a hinge condition or pin condition okay uh, then the k value will be zero means no if there is a pin you will apply any force it will start rotating because that is the pin its k will be zero 
if rotation of mass is not allowed means still this that is a pin but at that spot that is uh, at that point the uh, movement is uh, or the displacement is restricted okay rotation of mass not allowed okay then k value will be calculated is equal to 3 ai over lq now the example 10.4 a rigidly connected plane frame consists of a rigid floor of mass 6000 kg supported by two flexible columns of 3.5 meter long 3.5 meter long as shown in the figure below the, flex, the flexural rigidity of each column ei is equal to 4 to 10 raised power 12 newton per newton millimeter square calculate natural time period and natural frequency of the frame structure Okay, EI of each column is 4 into 10 raised power 12 Newton millimeter square. Okay, uh, now divided by uh, 1000 square, uh, the value is 4 to 10 raised power 6 Newton meter square. K value for each column is equal to K1 is equal to 12 EI over LQ for digit floor, means deformation at top is restricted. So 12 into EI values here divided by 3.5 cube. So K1 for uh, there it is for one column. Okay, so total K value 2 into K1 for one column and second column total K is 2 times K1 here. Mass of this story is 6000 omega is K over M. Okay, Newton uh, here Newton per meter and second is. Uh, m that is 6000 so value is 19.32 time period here same way 2 pi over omega or you can use 2 pi m over k under root uh, 0 0.325 second and natural frequency of the system 1 over t 3 uh, cycles per second determine k1 uh, example 10.5 determine k1 and k2 for the frame of two story ei total uh, 7.2 into 10 raised power 11 newton millimeter square for this story and for this story ei value is here height of uh, second story uh, uh, 3.72 and the first story is 4.5 uh, the first story a uh, k1 second story k2 okay so depending upon the column conditions we will select the uh, k factor okay here EI of bottom story, EI of top story, just converted into Newton meter square. K value for bottom story that will be 3 EI and the for top story that will be 12. Top story will be act as a rigid frame because that is rigidly connected to the bottom. But this bottom is connected with the pin. So that's why for bottom the factor is 3 EI over L cube for top that is 12 EI over L cube. Okay, then the rest of calculation is same as we have did in the previous lecture. So that's all for today's lecture. Have a nice day.